Okay, this is less of an install video as much as um, kind of showing you what I've already done after the install. Uh, I'll put in the link, uh, or excuse me, put in the comments where I got uh, these uh, grill LED marker lights. Um, they come in yellow. They also come in white. I just like the all white uh, lighting that I have on the front. The On the 2022 and up on the Pro 4X, these yellow markers aren't very noticeable. Um, and so I just didn't like having all this white lighting and then have these yellow lights. I know that, you know, the marker lights should be yellow, but I, I appreciate the white lights uh, in that offering. So I got those. Uh, they look great uh, at night. I'll be you know, sure to put a shot of that in at the end. Um, and so they come with in the kit, um, a harness and lights uh, for four or even six. I like the spacing of the four, um, the way that it forms these nice even gaps across. I like that. I didn't like the the three on the left and three on the right. It just the spacing just didn't look great for what I wanted. Um, so it comes with the uh, bracket. It comes with the lights. It also comes with an extra bracket. It also comes with all the the wiring. Uh, you can kind of see some of the wiring back there. Um, and so what I did was <clears throat> removed uh, this top panel here. And so there's six of these um, push pins. You got to kind of get out with a screwdriver. And then there's three screws. One, uh, two here, and then a third on the edge. Um, so that helped just give me more room to work. So I... Um, took this plate off, put the lights down, and then kind of had to push them through uh, a grill, and then kind of used my hands to just work them up into space. Um, I put a little piece of silicone in the um, clip there to just make it a little bit more uh, snug and secure, um, and then ran the wiring um, through here. Um, and then you can now see the wire right here. Uh, it has a negative terminal to the battery and then a positive into the fuse box. I'll talk more about a tr the Trigger 4 install in another video. Um, but I didn't connect it to the trigger. I actually just went into the fuse box. When I got to the fuse box, I noticed that the kit assembly came with fuses for a, or a fuse and a, a add a circuit for the mini fuses. And the uh, Frontier takes low profile mini so i actually had to order this from amazon it came in today um and so i'll be wiring this up uh, using the correct fuse and add a circuit um and i'll show you where i ended up plugging it in into the fuse box uh, so that it stays on while i'm driving but actually turns off I, you can see some comments online people are struggling to figure out which fuse uh to use um and where to put it uh, just because the lights were ended up staying on all the time when you're plugging in the daytime running lights uh, fuse. So I'll show you which spot to plug it into. So this is what the kit came with. Um, it's the low profile, excuse me, it's the mini fuse and uh, the Frontiers take the low profile. So you can kind of see the difference the way it's designed. Um, <clears throat> it came with a 15 amp fuse, sorry, it came with a 15 amp fuse. So I'm going to um, put a 15 amp low profile here on the back side because um, that's the side that's going to be going to the lights and then it's going into a uh, 10 amp um, spot in the box um, and so I'll get a 10 amp uh, there you should just be able to remove the one from the box I don't know where I put it uh, because I didn't need it when I was running off of this earlier um, so I did get this uh, extra um, set of fuses there are uh, one or two extras inside the glove box um, if you just need one or two i just figured might as well uh, invest in a box that i think it might have been 15 dollars for all these um, and so i'll get this hooked up notice the way these ends are different um, the one that came with the set uh, is nicely fixed up to where it goes right into the wire here uh, so it's a nice you know connection point I'm gonna have to cut this uh, strip it back and um, insert it into here and then um, I'll use some pliers to pin that down uh, and then install all right guys for the uh, Raptor style grill uh, lights um, I did an add a circuit it is the uh, low profile mini fuse 
um, and it's actually going to be plugged into this back panel because I want it to be plugged in to something that only gives power uh, when the ignition is on. Uh, so you actually have to get this back panel of fuses out to do that. There's a little squeeze tab here and here. Uh, so you squeeze those in and you pull up this panel and you kind of have to twist it around to get oriented and to actually read the guide to see which fuse is what. Uh, but I'll show you uh, where that is now. So once you get those tabs loose and you pull it up, I kind of like to spin it around this way. The fuse we want is um, actually the second fuse in this row of uh, 10s. I think it's, so it's, there's a 15 and then there's a 10 and we want it right there in that 10. Uh, that is on my guide. Um, I'll be sure to, uh, I think I need to cut and say exactly what it is. I think it's the, let's see if I can read it here. It's the reverse lamp. I think I might've mentioned that earlier, but it's the reverse lamp uh, fuse that will only come on with the ignition. Um, and so that's the one we're going with.